welcome back uh, in this video we will see uh, how we can suspend our sleep for uh, some times or then restart that uh, thread and uh, how we can terminate our thread permanently so uh, let's uh, uh, let's see the life uh, some functions in the thread okay there is one function sleep okay. and uh, there is a start that we have already seen in la our last video then uh, one method is stop and uh, one method is resume ok sorry it's uh, not uh, resume so uh, let's uh, check this ok there is uh, three methods uh, currently we will use here that is sleep that will suspend our thread for the some given time interval ok and uh, start obviously we have already used is the entry point for the any thread it will uh, start the threads and finally a stop a stop will stop the threads ok so let us uh, go with this so first we have we will make the threads here so I will write class oh, sorry it should be in a small cap a small letters so I will write class again I will create a class CLS1 and I will extend and this class um, with the uh, thread class ok inside so this I will uh, since we have to overload the run method so I will write run and inside run I will write I will make a loop here ok and let the loop uh, run to 10 times ok so I will write i equal to 1 i less equal to 10 and i plus plus inside the loop uh, we can say um, system dot out dot print element. we will just print a message here and uh, we will write here print ln ok and inside the print ln uh, we will write the name of the thread that we will pass or we will set the thread to the uh, name to the our thread and then I will uh, write here uh, number of times or uh, number of times of the uh, it, it, iteration of the or looping of the thread particular thread so I will write here I ok uh, that's fine it says undefined in the select we will write here uh, thread dot get name it's not simply name get name and uh, n should be capital ok uh, since we are overriding the mm, run method so we, we have to write here public and similarly we will make some more threads so I, uh, we have made totally three threads and in the all of the three threads we will write the only the execution uh, uh, sorry looping number and uh, the thread number with the thread number so let's uh, create the object for the three threads so I will write cls one c one equal uh, equal to new cls one at the end I will put semicolon uh, that is a statement terminator okay mm, c two if you have better type uh, typing uh, speed so then you can of course type the code also or you can copy paste whatever you feel comfortable it depends on you now uh, we will set the name to the all threads so I will write c1 dot set name and here uh, I will write thread 1 Similarly, C2 dot set name th 
thread to c3 dot sorry set uh, name okay so uh, let's uh, execute our threads means uh, start our thread c1 dot uh, start c2 dot uh, start and similarly c3 dot uh, start fine execute this see the output Since our, uh, there is no predefined pre or no fixed output for the thread, but uh, still we can see that all threads is executed. So let's uh, suspend our threads uh, uh, at the each uh, loop uh, and uh, at every turn of the loop. So uh, first uh, I will suspend this uh, thread one for one second uh, in every loop. So I will write here thread dot slip that is thread is the class and the slip is the static method of the thread class. So I will use slip method and uh, slip method takes a argument uh, in uh, millisecond. So for the one second I will write thousand milliseconds. So uh, this uh, slip method will slip the or you can say pause the or suspend the thread one for the one second uh, as the every looping means uh, since i equal to one then it will first slip for the one second then it will print again i is two then slip for the second one second and then it will print but uh, for the uh, for using slip we we have to put these uh, codes in the try block because it's uh, throws an exception so uh, or it may throw exception since this is the requirement of the java program so we have to write this course in try block that is a part of exception handling and i hope you have already gone through the exception handling video so i will catch the exception also and uh, we can simply catch this with exception class or you can uh, put the interrupted exception also but since uh, exception class is super class and interrupted exception is a subclass so you can use exception class or you can use interrupted uh, exception class also so i will, be, I will uh, prefer to write exception class and uh, now this, that's fine so i think if i execute this you can s see that uh, our thread 2 and thread 3 has already executed but thread 1 is sorry it should be 1 here uh, uh, thread 1 in executing uh, uh, in, uh, it takes uh, 10 seconds to execute because in the every loop we are uh, suspending on thread to 1 second so it should be 1 so let's uh, copy this code and paste to the all threads so that uh, all, all threads uh, took some time to execute or took some some consider considerable, considerable amount of time so that uh, we will understand the threading or multiple thread uh, better because uh, as you, if you want to uh, <laughs> understand the execution of threads uh, and with the with respect to the cpu uh, speed of the cpu you can't because you are a human and a computer is a computer and the computer is much more faster than you uh, you so you so let's uh, uh, suspend our threads or uh, give some considerable considerable time to our thread. so i will make this uh, one uh, uh, as a half uh, second uh, slip method i, I will uh, stop this thread to half half second that is uh, for 500 milliseconds and uh, i will pause the third thread to the two second at every loop so uh, see uh, now thread uh, first thread is executing at the every 
uh, thread 1 will be executed at the every 1 second and uh, thread 2 will be executed at every 500 millisecond and uh, thread 3 will be executed at, at the every 3 second so, uh, sorry 2 second so you can see that uh, thread uh, 3 e e executed only 5 times of loop uh, and in, in the and in the that much of time interval the all our thread 1 and thread 2 is already terminated so this is how you can pause your threads or you can uh, sleep your threads for a given so, uh, sort of uh, time or a given time interval so let's uh, now uh, i want uh, to so uh, let's make this one more clear so i will delete the thread to thread 3 sorry and uh, let's delete the thread 3 ok so let's uh, uh, run this since uh, thread 2 is taking only uh, 500 milliseconds so you can say uh, there is a pattern now and uh, thread 1 is e e getting executed at every 1 second and thread 2 is e will be executed at every 5 and then millisecond that is that is half of the sec one second so uh, this uh, this way you can this way you can you can uh, uh, pattern your or you can uh, control your execution pattern of threads so let's uh, uh, break our threads uh, in the in mid interval or you uh, by our desire or as our as per our wish so uh, i i want to uh, execute uh, terminate the thread one after the execution of four times of the thread one okay so means uh, I, I want the uh, this output at every execution of the program uh, or uh, can right now you, you whenever you run this uh, program you will get the same uh, output now because we are controlling our thread now maybe uh, starting of the threads uh, differ uh, slightly like thread 2 gets exact uh, started first or thread 1 get uh, started second uh, second that differ slightly but again you can control this uh, using uh, set uh, or setting priority to our threads also so let's uh, uh, suspend our thread 1 after the execution of four times of the uh, thread 1 so i will write here in thread 1 that is uh, CLS1 I will write uh, inside the for method that if I that is uh, that is uh, inc increasing from 1 to 10 if I is greater than 4 then a stop I will simply write the stop method here uh, since a stop method is, method is deprecated from the thread class but so it's a uh, or it says uh, the thread the method stop from the type thread is deprecated but still it works it uh, um, it's not going to create any uh, exception or any error here it will work uh, but uh, mind you this stop method will, will only work uh, with the thread class it will not uh, work with the runnable interface so whenever you make a runnable interface keep in mind you cannot use a stop method okay so now let's this uh, let's our program uh, to be executed and you can see uh, thread 2 be, will be executed at the 10 times but after the uh, 4 thread 1 is automatically a stop so means uh, we have stopped our thread uh, to not not get executed further okay so this is the beauty of the thread multi threading in java So we have seen how we, we can, uh, you can say, uh, control our pattern of the thread. In the next video, we'll see how we can join the two or more threads, uh, or how we can synchronize our threads also. So uh, let's uh, that's all for in this video. Uh, see the next video.